plant is subjected to different types of stress, biotic stresses and abiotic stresses. These stresses can impact on yield potential by up to 90%. Abiotic stresses account for most of these losses. In optimum conditions, the plant is supplied with nutrients and water. These elements are transported by the raw sap to the leaves, the site of photosynthesis. The plant then uses light energy, carbon dioxide and the transported elements to produce elaborate sugars and oxygen. This is photosynthesis. These sugars are then transported by the elaborated sap to the growth sites, the fruits, the leaves and the roots. The plant cells are turgid and functioning normally. The plant has an upright habit. In dry conditions and or when the temperature is too high, the plant closes its stomata to limit water loss. The circulatory flow of water, minerals and gases is slowed down. Photosynthesis is then disturbed. At the cellular level, the vacuole empties water it contains to create balance in the extracellular medium. This is plasmolysis. The plant wilts. In a situation of excess water, the extracellular medium becomes loaded with water and to restore balance, the vacuole fills up. This is hypertergesis. The mechanical pressure on the cell walls causes micro cracks. Climatic changes amplify this phenomenon. When Lalstim Osmo is applied as a foliar spray to a plant, its active ingredient, glycine betaine, is translocated into the cells within 24 hours. This osmoprotective compound regulates the osmotic equilibrium of the cells, limiting leakage or entry of water. It favours the fluidity of the cell membrane and thus allows a better resistance to mechanical pressures. Lalstim Osmo has a persistent effect for about three to four weeks. <laughs>